Hey water signs, welcome to my channel. My name is Indigo and I'm here to do your Friday, August 31st. Um, love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Cancer, Pisces, Pisces, Scorpio. Hope you guys are having an amazing Friday. There's good energy in the air. There's movement. Um, I think it's going to be a beautiful day for you guys. We'll get started right away here. Spirit angels, what messages do you have for our water signs? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For August 31st, 2018. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, in that order, please. Okay, <laughs> what did I say? You guys are going to have a beautiful Friday. Two of Cups. Amazing. Two of Cups. All right, Cancer, you guys have the Princess of Swords. Pisces, you guys have the Moon in Reverse. And Scorpio, you guys have the Six of Wands. All right. All sorts of messages coming in. Cancer males. I'm just going to get pull your guys' clarifiers right off the bat here. Cancer males. Cancer females. Pisces males. Pisces females. Scorpio males. Scorpio females. Okay. That way we can just... Keep it trucking. Okay, so Cancer, you guys have the Princess of Swords and the Two of Cups. You are getting word. Um, you are getting a message coming in about this love, about somebody who truly opens your heart, somebody that you hope to God stays in your life um, because they they balance you out. And look at that, the magician. You guys have manifested this uh Cancer males, most definitely. Uh, you guys have put in hard work. You guys have kept the faith. And you you knew you had what it takes um, to get this person. Now, for a separate group of you, you, um, you have kind of been played by an air sign female. Um, for this group of you... Uh, they are going to come clean. They are going to tell you what happened. And you two are still going to um, successfully have a happy, loving relationship together. But you're finding out that um, you kind of got played a little bit. Cancer females, you have the queen of wands in reverse. So you're feeling um, really self-conscious about yourself. Um, you're feeling like, why would they want me? There's somebody better out there. Um, you're telling them this. You're sending them a message. Um you know, asking, why would you want me? Why, why would you pick me? You know, why would you love me? And they love you because you complete them. You're their soulmate. Um, you are, uh, perfect for them. You are smart. You are, you know, perfect in your own right. Um, and you need to, uh, you need to, to do a little bit of healing to gain your self-confidence back because, um, because this person thinks the world of you. Um, so I do see you sending a message to whoever this is is professing their love to you. Um, and they're going to make you feel so much better. They're going to send you that message back um, telling you how much they love you. And that is amazing. All right. Pisces. You guys have the moon in reverse. So um, the moon is in your, uh, your sign right now. It is... Uh, an emotional, beautiful full moon. This is bringing things to the surface, bringing feelings out. Um, and in turn of bringing these feelings to the surface, to dealing with these feelings, it's going to lead to uh, a soulmate. Pisces males, you guys have moved on on your spiritual journey. You have left a relationship that was emotionally draining to you. And why did you do that? Because your feelings came to the surface. You realized that you had to go. You had to go in search of your two of cups. When the Eight of Cups pairs up with the Two of Cups, 
obviously we can all do the math, that equals a ten of cups. So you're in search of your soulmate in order to get that ten of cup life, and you're going to find it. And it's all because you're dealing with your feelings now. Uh, you are going to uh, come together with this person. Um, you are just setting out on your journey today. Pisces females, you guys have the devil. Um, dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, also, you're allowing your feelings of the past to come to surface um, from a toxic relationship. This is a relationship that is done over in the past but left you scarred. You're allowing those to come to the surface and you're dealing with those scars. You're dealing with that pain so you can heal. So you can move forward with your soulmate in a healthy relationship. Um, you are also confronting this person for some of you. Confronting that person that hurt you, that you feel stole your life. Um, this could have been um, something to do with addictions as well. Um, but this person hurt you. They, they were toxic for you. And you buried those feelings deep down and, and didn't deal with them. But now you are. You are in the Pisces moon um, uh, phase. And it is then going to allow you to move forward into this beautiful connection with this person that you are with or that you're waiting on. Um, for those of you waiting for this person to return, your soulmate to return, they're waiting on you to deal with your uh, scars, your pain from the past. Because once you heal, the universe will bring them into you. They're here. They're waiting. So it's time to uh, time to get that done. And you are working hard on it and doing a beautiful job, Pisces. Scorpio, you guys are finding success. Um, you, Scorpio males, you have the Ten of Wands. So you are successfully letting a relationship of the past go. You are successfully no longer um, feeling responsible for somebody else's happiness. You're no longer carrying the weight of this relationship solely on your shoulders. Um, you are telling this person that it's you're it's I'm gone. If you already left them, you are dealing with the pain of the ending of this relationship. This is the end of a cycle, end of a chapter, and you are successfully moving into a two of cups relationship with somebody else. Um, could be a fire sign, does not have to be, but most importantly is you're you are done with the burden. You are done with the pain. You are done with the like the fiery um like this person puts you down a lot. Like they are very um they degrade you a lot. But you are successfully moving on. You are successfully closing out this chapter and hallelujah for that. Scorpio females, you guys are um successfully moving on from the uh, tower moment that happened in the past. Somebody shook the foundation underneath you. They came crashing in and tore the whole whole kit and caboodle down. Um, this really this really hurt you. This really devastated you. You didn't think you could rebuild your life after this. You didn't feel like you had the will to do it. You didn't want to do it. You just kind of hid away for a little bit. Um, so, and you are successfully healing from that. You are successfully allowing the tower um, to now be a lesson instead of a heartache. Um, you're taking this lesson. You're moving forward. You are successfully um, releasing this negative energy that, that surrounded this tower moment. And you are also moving into an amazing relationship with somebody Um Amazing, amazing energy for water science. All of you have a good Friday coming towards you. For the, those of you that resonates with that, let's see what the angels have to say. Spirit angels, what messages do you have for our water science for Friday, the 31st? wedding bottom of the deck worth waiting for that soulmate that two of cups they are worth waiting for this is for sure your soulmate your divine partner um you could be waiting on them to come forward because they are ending a marriage that they're currently in um but that's not for everybody you could just be waiting on them to return and this will ascend into a um, more committed relationship 
Um, and that's for all of you. All water signs are dealing with a soulmate. You're, they're all worth waiting for. So take the time to heal, especially, especially you Scorpios. You're doing an amazing job, though. You're finding success in that healing, laying that burden down, leaving that relationship in the past. Um, you guys are doing a very good job Oops. Um, of that. Uh, but for all of you, how exciting. You guys have soulmates coming in. I knew when I flipped that two of cups, I knew when I was shuffling and I said, there's awesome energy here. You guys are going to have a great Friday. And then I pulled the two of cups. I knew a lot of you were waiting for uh, soulmates to be coming in. So um, like I've told the other signs, September is going to be a huge month for um, partnering up with those that were meant to. So it's going to be a good beginning to September. Have a great last day of August. Be watching for your channeled messages. Um, I will be releasing those today and tomorrow. Virgos is already out. I put theirs a day out early because they by far um, exceeded everyone with their likes and comments. Uh, Sagittarius will be next and then Pisces and Gemini. And I'm not sure the order after that, but those were my top four. So if you guys want your next channel messages released um, sooner, make sure you are doing your likes and comments. So once again, thank you for joining me on my channel. God bless each and every one of you with love and light.